Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a common problem with Windows 10 dealing with internet connections. Now, when you go on the internet, you'll notice that you have a message that says you're not connected. Well, this is the common problem with the recent update to Windows 10. So, how do you fix it? Well, first, uh, if you look down here in the lower right, you want to check and make sure that you are connected to the correct network. Now, you'll see a yellow triangle down here. Uh, this one here is the Wi-Fi in Windows 10. Uh, it's got the little dot with little lines coming out. It looks like a cone laying on the side. And when you put your cursor on it, it will show that you're having an unidentified network. No internet access. Well, if you were to left click on it once, you'll see a list of your wireless networks. And you'll see, you want to make sure that you are connected to the right one. And it says no internet secured. Okay. Well, what you want to do now is right click on the icon and then choose Open Network and Sharing Center. This window will come up, show the current status. It'll say Unidentified and Public Network. Now on the right, this is your connection. This is the connection you want to check out. Go ahead and left click on it once. Now you're going to see this window. This window gives you the details about your connection. Everything from how long you've been on this connection, your speed, and how much data has been sent and received. If you look right here, you have these two buttons, uh, Details and Wireless Properties. Click on Details. This gives you a detailed information about your network connection. Uh, this is how you can find what your IP address is. Now, this here should be normally filled with a bunch of IP addresses. As you can see, it's not. Now, the one you want to look for is this one right here. This is the Auto Configuration IP4 uh, I address. This is the one that you want to pay attention to. Now, you'll notice that this computer here has an address that starts at 169. And that is incorrect. It should not start within 169. Your network IP address should start either with a 10, 172, or 192. Now, first thing you want to do is on your keyboard, uh, you're going to see the Windows icon or the logo key. It's going to look like this key right here, this button right here on the screen. Uh, it's got the four pane window. Uh, that's your Windows button. It's in the lower left corner between the Control key and the uh, Alt key. Now you want to press that key and the letter R as a Romeo. You'll come up with this box. Uh, this is your run box. Uh, if there's anything typed in it, go ahead and erase it. And type in CMD. And then click OK. Uh, now, as you can see this, you're at the command prompt. So, what you'll do at the command prompt is type in ipconfig, as you see here, put a space, a forward slash, and then release, as you see here, and then press enter. Now, as you can see here, uh, it gives you uh, information. Uh, part of it says that it cannot connect it because the media is disconnected. The last one that you want to see is this one right here. Uh, this one shows you an error had occurred while releasing the interface wireless network connection. And it says it's not been associated with the network endpoint. Well, that's where you see the one in the 169. So, when you try to get the adapter to release the IP address, it cannot. Well, you can also try IP config.
renew and again uh, you're still showing some problems and this oftentimes will fix the problem and what you'll do is once it is able to release it um, you'll see this message here and as you can see now uh, it actually was able to fix its own problem now you'll see now that the IP address now starts with a 192 as it should uh, my network is set up with a 192 most people are so now if you look down here in the lower right you'll see your icon now shows that you are connected to the network it also shows connected and secured if IP config renew doesn't fix the problem and you still have an error message another thing that you can try and do is put your computer in the safe mode uh, the reason for this is because safe mode only loads uh, Windows what it needs to function and because that Windows is designed to create a profile for hardware configuration this is supposed to have helped speed up the computer uh, instead of Windows having to configure the hardware each and every time it loads that it could just load a profile instead so to fix the problem in some cases what you'll do is in the lower left hand corner click your Windows icon or your start button whatever you want to call it and you want to click power now power will give you three options you'll have sleep shut down and restart now on your keyboard hold down the shift key doesn't matter which one hold a shift key down and then click restart now you're going to see please wait up here let go of the shift key now you will come to this screen uh, it's going to be choose an option it's going to give you three choices what you want to do is you want to click on troubleshoot on the next screen you want to click on advanced options now you want to click on startup settings and then click restart now you're going to come to this screen as you can see it's got several options each one is going to have a number next to it the one you want is number five enable safe mode with networking on your keyboard press the number five once your computer restarts uh, it's going to go into safe mode so if you have a password please enter the password you will require the Microsoft account password uh, if you have a PIN number set up it will not work you have to have the original password now when you go into safe mode you're going to notice this message this app can not open just ignore it choose close you're going to notice that safe mode is in all four corners of your screen now and now what you want to do in the lower right hand corner you should see your wireless icon uh, it'll say not connected connections are available in your Wi-Fi once you click on it it should bring you up a list of networks and you should see your network in this list it should also say connect automatically and then reconnect now once it securely connects you'll see the message connected and secured now depending on which version of Windows 10 you have if you have the anniversary update you should be able to access the internet through Wi-Fi if you don't uh, what you can also check is right click your Windows icon the lower left you want to go to device manager now device manager will bring up uh, all your devices uh, in Windows 10 now you're gonna probably see some yellow triangles around different devices which is fine uh, this is mostly because we're in safe mode 
Now what you want to do is you want to go down to Network Adapters, which is this one right here. Go ahead and double click and this will expand it. Now you're going to see one or two uh, network adapters. Uh, this one here, which is the wireless. Um, if it has a yellow triangle next to it, uh, that's fine. What you want to do is double click the icon. Now you'll see this box and it's going to tell you the current status. Now for some people it should say device is working properly, which is fine. Now if it says that Windows was unable to start the device uh, because it didn't accept the, the command or whatever it says, then that's fine. Okay, there's, there's no worries about that. That's because the earlier version of Windows 10 prior to the anniversary date does not load uh, the Wi-Fi or any network uh, in safe mode. But the anniversary update fixed that problem. Now, once you uh, confirm the status of the network adapter, now you can go ahead and restart your computer. And this will put it back into normal mode. Now, once your computer restarts, um, you're going to see that your icon down here in the lower right has changed. Uh, it no longer has a yellow triangle, and it also has uh, internet access. When you click on it, it should say connected and secured. Now, you can have internet access. And this is how you fix this common problem with Windows 10. Now, if this does not resolve your internet connection, please watch my uh, how to fix internet connection problem on our channel with the link provided in the description. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.